Hello everyone and welcome back. These days weekdays pass by in a blink of an eye. So to keep up with this fast pace, I strongly believe in good planning for a well organized system. Having a routine to organize tasks around you can help in easing out the constant pressure of work and home management. So I decided to share my weekly organization routine with you all that is sustainable and helps in managing my work, home, family and me time well. So let's get started. I start by organizing the most demanding action of the week that is cooking. And this organizing task starts a day before when I sit and make a detailed weekly meal plan. I have raved a lot about meal plans in my previous videos as well because a meal plan is a great solution to most of the issues. What veggies to bring, how to add variety and wholesome nutrition in my food, how to consume pantry stock, is it time for grocery shopping or what to cook when you're too busy are few of the many many problems which a great meal plan solves. I usually go about making a weekly meal plan and it takes 15 minutes to have a list in hand. Next day is when organizing action takes place and I start organizing the most used areas in the house one by one. Starting with organizing the fridge, you can check my detailed fridge organization video which I will link in the description below. Organizing the fridge once a week is more than enough attention this task needs to sustain through the week. Bringing only limited veggies as per your meal plan will also save time in organizing the fridge and gives a clear sight of what is inside. Also, kitchen and pantry is a daily affair, so I don't include them in my weekly tasks. While I got some great ways of storing veggies in the fridge, I still struggle with cucumbers. If you know a best way to store them, please let me know in the comments. Second most used area in the house is my shoe rack. Although Karthik is the only one using it most frequently, but by the end of the week, it just looks a little messed up. Cleaning and organizing goes hand in hand. And since it's monsoon time, I like to take extra effort and special attention to this area. I also do shoe rotation for myself, else I usually end up wearing the same shoe all the time. Then I go ahead and organize all the cupboards and drawers in the house to give them a fresh and clean look right at the beginning of every week. Earlier I used to put the 10 minute alarm on the phone so that while doing these tasks I should not get lost in this whole organization situation. But with time it has become a habit and now there is a self timer running in my mind reminding me to do just the required touch ups. There is a very thin line between being busy and being productive. I can go on organizing the whole day but then other jobs in the house will hamper. So striking the right balance is a key to being productive. Once the most used areas of the house are organized, I then pick up one weekly project which calls for deep organization. Like this drawer definitely needed a renovation, so this week's task was to tick this off the list. There are so many places in the house that get some special attention every now and then. Either a space needs a deep cleaning, an organizing system or reorganization. But picking them all at one go is very overwhelming. So I go one by one depending on how much time I have in hand. For a sustainable organizing routine, I totally believe in going slow and steady. This way the house spaces are also getting organized 
and there is absolutely no burnout. The spaces are now arranged, but there are a lot of things which disorganize our surroundings. There is a lot of unsorted paperwork in the house that keeps piling up. So instead of letting them become a huge load of projects by sorting ones in a blue moon, I make sure that I dedicate 10 minutes of organizing these papers in the house on a weekly basis. Sorting them, arranging them, filing them properly, highlighting them to take actions or throwing unwanted bits are a few steps that ease out in managing these unseen tasks. This surely saves me from any last minute issues, paper hunting or panic of missing any deadlines and most importantly make me feel clutter free. After sorting the physical papers, I also take some time to clean my phone because otherwise a lot of junk images keep accumulating and the important ones get lost very easily. Especially if you are a parent of a cute infant or you have kids at home who know how to click pics by swiping on the home screen. I am very forgetful when it comes to remembering days, dates and events. So I make sure I organize my calendar ahead of time. 10 minutes of time goes into checking if there are any important events in the coming week to help in taking desired actions before time. Buying gifts for upcoming birthdays, arranging things for kids school events, being ready with the medical file for any doctor's visit, setting reminders for any household chore or any other time bind to-dos are better to be taken care of in advance. Also, if there are some important highlights, I just add them in Google Calendar and they pop up right in front of me whenever I need a reminder. If you want people to stay organized the way you want, Include them in your organization system. I sit with Ruthvi every weekend to follow up on her tasks. Since she can't manage it on her own, I guide her through this process and there is less meltdown at the 11th hour. Her homework, her timetable for coming week, any activities scheduled or brushing up on the past work done helps in keeping her schoolwork organized and I also stay at peace knowing that it's all done and sorted. And lastly, I plan, organize and update my next week's agenda and tasks. Pantry details, shopping list, to-dos for next week for house and my work and other lists help me in giving easy reminders which goes a long way to immediate future planning. I am a slave of lists, so I go with this old school method, but I also set this list on my phone for easy accessibility. While this list keeps updating over the week, taking those major tasks of the week by the end of the day feels so satisfying. Organization is a process one creates for their own convenience. Make your own system and enjoy that process because when it comes to organizing your home and life, you are your own boss. While there will always be surprises, but having a firm organization routine in place acts like a cushion during pressure situations. Hit that like button if you found this video helpful in planning and organizing your coming days and let me know in the comments below if you also plan or organize your week in advance. Do subscribe to the channel for more such videos and drop me a hello in Instagram for more chit chat. And I will see you in my next video. Until next time, stay tuned.